Kana Setatu and welcome back. So today we're putting the data in our program and start looking at, uh, at the Excel files that we import through the form that we built uh, last time. So let's start obviously with git commit. So git add all and git commit, um, let's say uh, created HTML form for Excel uh, imports, okay? And that's it, okay? So we want to split some of the functionality that we are going to write into the view and the helpers that will be used for the view. So as we finished the last time, we created this very simple upload file view. And what I want to do is I want to have a couple of different functions that work for this upload, but also I don't want to have any other functions in here except for the view functions. So welcome is a view, upload file is a view. I don't want any helping functions um, beside it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a Python file here called helpers. And it's a, it's a common thing to have a helper file. Um, and it's useful for, for organizing your, your code and keeping functions that are not views outside from the view. One thing, we keep them outside from the place where we think it's not exactly their place. Like I, as I mentioned, I don't think they're views, so I don't want them to be v to be in here in the views file, but also they can be reused. So if I find a use for those functions outside of views py, maybe somewhere else, I can still use them from this file. So that's why I like to use a helpers file. Okay, so what happened was I started writing this code before, so I get ready because this is where we have to put our thinking caps and make sure that this Excel file and, and two different formats of Excel file with the same kind of data will be processed and stored in a way that we want it to be stored. So it's, it's not as easy as just start writing and go with the flow. I had to get ready for it. And so what you're going to see now, you're going to see a bit of, you know, organized work. Whereas where I was working, I was actually doing a lot of kind of going back and forward. And it's interesting to see the, the thought process, but at the same time, it would take a couple of hours to watch one, uh, one video. So it, it doesn't make sense for you to watch me thinking. At the same time, you'll see something a little bit unnatural now. Um, I'll start writing something very fluently and because I have this code just ready for, for rewriting. Um, but I, I'll try to cover the, 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 the reason why I'm doing this and why I'm doing that. Okay, so okay, we have our helpers file in here. So let's go back here. To fetch the Excel file and the year that we put into our form, uh, we need to, and that's the year, that's the file. Uh, we need to use something called Django forms. And so what we need to do is we have to import them from Django import forms. And in here, I'm going to just create a class. Um, let's call it Excel upload form. And it will inherit from forms.form. Okay. And all we have to say is uh, there is a year in that form and forms.charfield and it's similar to char field and it's similar to uh, building models here. And I think so that's, yeah, the max length shouldn't be more than four because it's a year. And then we have a file forms.file field. And that's it. Okay, it's very simple. It just um, we we use it for taking the the forms from 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 HTML for, forms basically. It's pretty easy. Now let's go to upload file, and in here we actually have to make sure that we are that we are accepting only the request method post. So we need to make sure that request and request comes from here. It's always passed to our view that method, and it is in there. We will debug it and, and check what the method says. Uh, but basically we are looking for post. Okay, if it's post, then we want to do something. And I use pass for kind of just leaving empty if statement or, or define function, just, just not to get like uh, an error. If you say pass, it will not give you an error, but it does nothing. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to be able to do something like else and something here, right? So we only want to accept a 
post method and if it doesn't if it's not post method if it's a get method or any other method then we want to do something else okay so but if it is post method and i will take care of both of those passes i'll start with this one so to get the information from the form we need to do something like this form is um, and that was excel upload form and in here we need to take from the request post post and also we want to get from request files and then we have to validate it so we have to check if uh, our form dot is valid yeah it's there and that's a function that is built into the forms so as you can see excel upload form inherits from forms dot form and in here we are creating an instance of a excel upload form which is a form and in here we're using one of the methods of that form so not that much work but needs to be done so we are we validate this form and now we want to get this file out of this form so file is form dot clean clean data of file and why it's not a function file okay so that's uh, that's just one of the properties and it's some sort of a dictionary or object and so why file because as you might remember from the last video if you go here and you see our form where is the form that's the guy here our file its name is called file and that's the name that we need to take and put it in here okay whatever we put in HTML in here in name will be used in here so maybe let's have a look what are we getting I'm gonna leave this here because I want to go past this uh, statement here and I'm gonna use the debugger okay uh, let's see what's gonna happen 2016 uh, 2016 data data okay so it went through nicely and it's because I wrote this code before so it, it's gonna work pretty clean we won't see all those mistakes that I made unfortunately but let's have a look at this file here we have something it, it knows that it's this 2016 data EU values Excel Excel file uh, and there is a bunch of information about this file here so we are getting somewhere um, whatever file you're uploading this is how you are fetching this file and you're getting it ready for the processing in our case it's an Excel file uh, that we are going to process using open py Excel um, just for now in the future we will use pandas as well open py Excel focuses mainly on Excel processing it's not that much of a data analysis tool as much as just Excel library for Python but it's pretty powerful if you know how to use it and basically you know when you get your Excel file into your Python code into your Python program and you're able to get the chunks of data that you want to get uh, from from places to places uh, that's that's all you need at the end of the day pandas gives you a, li a little bit more analysis uh, capability but still being able to extract information from Excel to your Python program is powerful enough okay I think I'm gonna stop here and we are going to continue with installation and using um, OpenPYXL in the next video. Thanks for watching and see you later.